We come here to verse 24 of the 8th chapter of the Gospel of John. Jesus is making a sharp distinction between himself and his adversaries who represent the religious leaders there in Jerusalem. He has indicated to them that he is from above while they are from below, that uh, he has some deep understanding of his own significance, his own destiny, while they, of course, as it were, grope in the darkness. And for that reason, they are not understanding, and nor indeed are they able to understand the true identity of this one. And now Jesus puts an even sharper point on it, as he says here in verse 24, Apon, the first person singular, aorist active indicative of lego, I say. He's giving an explanatory comment as to something that he had said earlier, and so the discussion continues, I said, un, post positive conjunction, therefore, I said, therefore, who men, second person pronoun, dative plural, I said, therefore, to you, hoti, can mean either that or because, a conjunction here it means that, in effect quoting himself, I said therefore to you that apothanestha. This is from apothnesco, I die. The second aorist of this is what's in view here, and this is the uh, second aorist middle voice, so second person plural. Um, aorist middle indicative, you will die, and the idea of the middle voice here presumably is simply to say that it's kind of something uh, that they are going to die in and of themselves. There's a kind of uh, sense in which this is describing something that will happen to them, and really the, the force of it is uh, added in this next prepositional phrase, in, preposition takes the dative, here is the dative article, uh, plural, uh, dative uh, feminine going with hamartiais, so tais hamartiais, you will die in the sins humon, second person plural genitive of the pronoun, so you will die in your sins. You're going to die kind of in and of yourselves, in your sins is uh, the force of it. Very powerful idea. I said therefore to you, you will die in your sins. Uh, that's why you don't understand me, because you are uh, locked up, as it were, inside this dark place where it's impossible for you to recognize who and what I am. Ian, the uh, word for if, takes the subjunctive. For if, the postpositive uh, conjunction here, for if, may, pistus eta, if you do not or did not believe, if you do not believe, Hoti, that, and then ego, a me. Powerful idea, of course. Uh, uh, clearly an allusion back to the Septuagint name for God, Yahweh. If you do not believe that I am, uh, not I am something or other. Uh, I am uh, the Christ. I am the door. I am uh, the bread of life. Any of these might have been filled in there, but he simply leaves it hanging there. And it would be almost impossible to miss the point that uh, Jesus is making an affirmation concerning his own deity, his own identity in some ways with the I am of the Old Testament, the Yahweh figure that we find throughout the Old Testament. If you do not believe that I am, and then the same word again, uh you will die. The future here, second person, plural, future, middle indicative, you will die. And then the same phrase, in tais hamarti isumon, you will die in your sins. The failure to believe me, the failure to believe that I am the one who was coming, indeed to believe that I am God himself walking here among you, that failure to recognize that is what's going to seal your doom and you're going to die in your sins, which is simply a way of saying dying uh, and at that point losing any hope of redemption, any hope of salvation.